Elijah said uh, Jerry Godowski kind of puts his personality in the offense. What is his offensive personality, and how is it different from Andy Murphy's? Um, they're actually really similar in, in some ways and then really different in others. But I'd probably say the biggest thing, he's probably looking to spread things out a little bit more while Coach Ludwig was not strictly pro style, but probably more uh, like centered in that area. So there were two tight end sets, some three tight end sets. Are those gone forever? No, you'll, st you'll still see those because we got some really good young tight ends. I think you've talked about needing to work on your blocking to get to the next level. It's Hit that briefly, if you would, please. Uh, yeah, definitely, because you can never be too good of a blocker. And, you know, while people have said I'm a solid to good blocker, I want to be a good to great blocker. So, and that really elevates your draft status anyway. You saw TJ go to like number eight because he was such a good blocker. So, what, what's the difference for you then? What, how do you make that step? Staying in contact. You know, I miss a good, a bit, a good amount of times. Once I hit somebody, then like it's, it's good from there, but I miss. So, don't miss. <laughs> How much film do you watch running routes as opposed to watching film of you blocking? And has that changed over the years? How much, like of film, myself? Yes. I try not to, I watch a little bit of myself early on in the process of the offseason just so I have a good feel and then I come back later. But most of the time I'm going to look at NFL tight ends or the guys that are considered the best in the last draft class. So, I mean, maybe 20% of my film, and I watch a lot of films, so that's, that's a good bit, but 20% is probably me, 80% is everybody else, just so I can see what they're doing. That makes them really good. And that includes watching guys just block, inline blocking. Yeah. You made some preseason watch lists, preseason all-conference lists. They, they give you confidence that motivates you in any way? How, how do you view those kinds of things? Uh, not really, because... At the end of the day, the watch lists and the preseason stuff won't mean anything if I don't go out there and perform well. At the end of the season, I won't be on them if I'm not good. So, Coach has said this is probably his most talented, maybe his deepest team he's had since he's been here. Do you, do you agree with that assessment and why? Probably just from a body standpoint. You know, we got a lot of transfers that came in, and, you know, we had grad transfers coming. in. Those are grown men coming in, so 22, 23-year-old guys that are fully developed athletically and, you know, size-wise and then intelligence-wise. They've played in a scheme for a certain amount of years and they understand coverages, understand defensive fronts on both sides of the ball. So it's, it's a really good asset to have. What do you want to see out of your quarterbacks this fall? Just them be the best versions of themselves. You know, I won't be comparing them to Kyle or anything, and then I won't be expecting anything more than what they're capable of, which I think is a lot. What's the confidence level inside the locker room as you guys get ready to, to get started now for uh, this we, season? We have a firm belief that we can play with everybody on our schedule. So we'll continue to work in that, that capacity and then win as many games as we put forward to winning, which, you know, we'll put forward the work to winning. My name is Kalaja. You, you three, you know, have sort of been the spokespeople for this team throughout the offseason, all you, Keyshawn, Kalaja. You comfortable in that role? You, you expect that to continue throughout the fall? Oh, it'll continue, but I'm not comfortable at all. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's great to see you guys and, you know, I love to talk to you, but when the camera's in my face, uh, it's a little bit different. So, I mean, while, like, I'm, I'm, I'm a solid interview, I'm not, like, amazing, but it's, it's a lot. I'm, I'm not a fan of all the attention. You said you watched some, some guys on film, NFL guys, but anybody come to mind that, that you watched a lot of? In the off season? Yeah. Uh, so just NFL, I like Travis Kelsey because he doesn't win with just strictly athleticism. He's got really funky route details and the nuances in his routes. And then for uh, college, I went back and watched TJ run routes because they said he's a really efficient route runner and nuanced. And uh, I watched his blocking against uh, Purdue, Penn State, I didn't really do Indiana because everybody saw the highlight from the Indiana game. Um, for NFL blocking, I, I go a little bit old school with Lee Smith. Um, so, yeah, that's that should you know let you know I'm actually not bluffing. I do watch a little bit of film. Who, who turned you on to certain guys, or did you just find them on your own? I just find them on my own. Yeah. That sounds boring to watch tight ends block, but you you like it? <laughs> to some people, you know, it's not that boring when there's millions on the line. So. <laughs> I get to be a better blocker. It's, it's just more money. So, What was the process for you in deciding that, yes, you, I'm, I'm coming back for this year? I had a lot of goals that I didn't uh, achieve. So personally, team-wise, you know, I feel that we can be better as a team, and I definitely feel that I can be better as, as a player. So, Help when you look around and Keyshawn makes that same decision, and so does Kalaja. Yeah, uh, Kalaja was really early. So, I mean, 
it wasn't much of a look around for him. But for Key, we talked daily. I mean, it wasn't always about the, the process. Most times we were just talking because, you know, we're cool. But, I mean, when he definitely decided to come back, it definitely helped out. So. You said you didn't want to compare these quarterbacks to uh, Kyle. He's been your quarter. He's been the quarterback here for four years. Why do you think that's important not to compare these guys to him? Well, I'm sure it's made the rounds at this point. But you know, I had a quote as you made it as that. I definitely think it's true. You know, we start comparing other, comparing yourself to other people, and comparing other people to other people. It really starts to devalue either you or the other person. And I don't think you should try to devalue yourself. I think you should. Uh, try to try to build yourself up and try to be the best version of yourself that you can be rather than trying to be something that maybe you're not or just trying to appease other people. Thanks, Thanks, oh, thank you. Thank you.